All right, we're back with part seven. We uh we finished our Mortal Kombat story mode uh, for the newest one, Mortal Kombat One. It's super crazy, awesome game. Uh, I'm still gonna be playing it. I f I just finished up a live stream for Invasion Season One. We actually finished it during the live stream too. But I'm also gonna be live streaming the uh, Classic Towers. So got that to look forward to. But since I'm done with the story. We are coming back to Red Dead, which I'm excited because we just got to Mexico. Uh, we did one mission here in Mexico, and that was Landon Ricketts first mission. So now we've got our Schofield revolver. We've been using the Cattleman the whole time for our playthrough, so it's nice to finally have a new gun. But yeah, I think we're just going to start with Landon's next mission right away. Oh, well, they're like walking fast like they're going to say something. Hey amigo, you want to make some money? Ven conmigo. I already got myself a woman, miss. I don't know if I should trust this guy. Where's he going? They're delivering provisions to the market. You steal one of the wagons, I give you good money. I don't, no, I'm not gonna steal anything. Wait, why do I still? <laughs> Hello, sir. They just kept giving me the accept job. Let me buy this. Let's get these as well. Good. I got what I need. Now we do have to go into our inventory and actually use them. But the bandito outfit is now in motion. What else do I have to do for that? Bounty alive. The defend thing's basically a random event. Okay, all players in liar's dice. I, I, I like liar's dice. Night watch job. Alright, that's pretty straightforward stuff. Let's get our maps now. I just let it auto save a little before I hit the next one. Alright. Got some locations now. Let's do our next story mission here. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier, Señor Escuela? Is Javier to see? No sé, señor. He doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Stabacon, uh, Grande Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being. Not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. I'm gonna take the train. You can come with me or ride ahead to El Matadero. That conversation got a little heated almost. All right, let's go. Let's just go with Ricketts. I actually don't really remember this mission. Is this where you get the... 
three. I wonder if this is really the one lady gets I've been introduced. Can't remember her name. John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. Is your name like Luciana or something like that? I don't remember. Guess we'll find out. We eventually get throwing knives in Mexico as well. Not sure when. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. I don't think there's any dialogue on the train. You rest, don't worry about me. I'm too old to sleep. I'll wake you when we get there. are over here. Alright, Casa Madrugada. It's basically like, I guess this would be relatively Thieves Landing, but in Mexico. A lot of crimes happen here. A lot of criminal random events. Come on, first stop, El Matadero. Dude, the Mexico map layout for this game is so good. Just the scenery we need to and everything. find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there. But we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts. Not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. That's a good bit of imagery. Here we are. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? This is like an opium right, let's find this Carlos guy. Uh, strange Come mission on, here. Easy up now. Carlos. See? We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. All right, let's find Luisa. Luisa was her name. So yeah, it is this mission. Okay. Now I remember it. I always thought this one was kind of a weird one. Just because you get like... Like, led into this weird canyon. You just randomly keep her in, her ca in a cave. Guess we wait. Really taking his time. Oh, I see a chest on the ridge. Hey, hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué quieres? No puedes estar aquí. Hace calor hoy. Bien bochornoso, ¿verdad? No lo voy a decir otra vez. No puedes estar aquí. Eh, hey, oye, soy yo, Carlos. Pues trabajo en el matadero. No me importa quién eres. 
Esta es una zona militar prohibida. Vete a casa. Me gustan sus botas. Muy bonitas. Mi hermana tiene las mismas. Pinche campesino de mierda. Te voy a colgar al lado de tus cerdos. Váyanse al infierno, traidores. Well, I say we've waited long enough. I what he actually said. I don't speak Follow Spanish. Me. We'll shoot our way in there. Wouldn't they just come right back? They're definitely gonna hear this. Pare! Ahora mismo! This doesn't look good! This guy's hanging on by a thread here. What are you talking about? I'm ahead of you. That's it, partner. Stay with me. There they are. She must be in here. I'm gonna see if I can blow the door open. You keep guard. There'll be more on the way. Alright. That's probably the two that were at the gate. More, all right, get back behind that table. Stand back, damn it! Here goes! Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Right, let's see if we can all get out he of here. He didn't even give her a piece. warning or anything. I'm pretty sure one stick of dynamite would have done it too. And there's bomb rushing. see this before. Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on! Oh, why didn't you just bring our horses around? <laughs> just Let's go before down. any more of them show up. Well, the fact that we're not riding our normal horses makes me think a lot more will show up. Dude, the Schofield has some range on it, Jesus. Yeah, damn, this thing's fucking nuts. You can still run away! But this thing's probably better. Dude, why is he just moving at a slow gallop? If she's injured, she's definitely gonna bleed out. Come 
This thing is literally a sniper. That ain't nice. Might be all of them. Damn, where the hell is Carlos? I thought he was meeting us here. I hope he's coming. I don't want to wait longer than we need to. Talk about cutting it fine. He sure took his time. Luisa, gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Gasquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Yeah. Uh. All right, there we go. We saved her. Her missions eventually become available. We'll probably have to go talk to Landon Ricketts, though. I think, uh. When we left off last time, I think this strange man had another mission for us. So, that's probably gonna be on the way. Might actually be better off visiting him first. Yeah, he's right here. I. The other one that might be available too is the flying machine guy. I forgot where he was. I thought he was somewhere. I thought he was somewhere over here. I'm gonna have to check in on that as well. Funny Man's still not available yet. But yeah, I'm gonna head towards the uh, strange man right now, so it'll just catch when I get to him. Alright, we're getting kind of close to him now. Move up on this hill here. Are there wolves up there too? Yeah! Yes, they're chasing me right now. Welcome to Nuevo Paraiso, John. Where do I know you from? You're famous, John. You're the man who shot a bunch of banditos as soon as he turned up in this country. You're a man who decided right and wrong between a man and death, between a man and his wife. And who are you? You know, I admire you, John. I hope my boy turns out just like you. <laughs> For your sake, I hope he don't. You kill people so easily, yet you respect the vows of marriage. That's very curious. I'll let the appropriate authorities judge my morality, friend. Yes, you will. And they shall. Anyway, I hear that an old nun is traveling from the monastery, taking the money she raised to the bank. Why don't you head up there and see if you can lend her a hand? Road's full of thieves. Either that or rob her yourself. I'll see you around, John. I hope you don't. Strange guy, dude. Strange guy. The wolves are still here. But all right, we're gonna head there right now. All right, I'm approaching the destination now. Still out here looking for donations. This is the uh, same sister that Arthur talks to in Red Dead 2. Uh, when you meet her at the train station, she's actually heading to Mexico. Yeah, it's a nice little connection there. Almas for the poor! Arms for the poor! Uh, oh, sir. Could you find it in your heart 
to donate some money for the poor? Perhaps cast a little sunlight into their life? Well, maybe, but ain't it the Lord's responsibility to look over his flock, not mine? Yes, but the Lord has brought you to me so you could help me. They're at their wit's end, and their faith has been cast aside. All it would take is a few dollars to get them started on the right path so they could see there are those who care. A few dollars to completely restore someone's faith? I never knew life is so simple. There you are, sister. Yes. Life is much simpler than we make it. Gracias, señor. And God bless you. All right, we helped her out. There's I Know You Part 2. We don't actually see Part 3 for quite a while. That basically concludes that one for now. Uh, where am I currently in the map? That one, if there is the flying machine, would be up here. So maybe I'll check on that really quick. But if he's not there, we're just going to head back to Landon Ricketts. Just cut to whichever one. Right, it actually looks like he's here. People are getting attacked by wolves nearby. This is just dialogue for the first part, but uh, it gives me a list of things I need to gather for him. Up here, isn't it? Hello there, friend. You come to enjoy the scenery? I guess I have. What are you doing out here? You know, I'm trying to capitalize on the stiff upward breezes in this region to launch my first ever flight. You're gonna try to use that crazy thing to fly? I'll be soaring like an eagle, or my name's not Charles Kinnear. I should be the first man swooping through this valley. Yes, I shall. I'd leap off now, only it seems like I need more adhesive to keep the wings together. I've concocted my own special formula, since that store-bought stuff isn't strong enough. However, I can't abandon my machine to gather more materials. What kind of materials are you talking about, Charles Kinnear? I need a bunch of bird feathers, doesn't matter what kind, along with a parcel of beaver hides to boil down, along with some red sage to make it all pliable. Okay. I think I can find all that stuff. I'll be back, Charles, because you leaping off that cliff is something I have to watch. Oh, they doubted dear Icarus, sir. Yes, they did! Yeah. It's definitely something worth seeing probably get out of here before he gets mauled by wolves. But yeah, we basically... That's part one. Jesus Christ, those wolves went on a massacre. But we can't really actually finish that until much later in the game. Because you can't get Beaver until you get to West Elizabeth. So you pretty much have to finish everything in Mexico. So yeah, it'll, it'll be a while before we do that. But alright, I'm going to head back to uh, Chuparosa now. All right, we're back in Chuparosa. I remember this mission. This guy you play poker with is such a dick. I fall. No tengo nada. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love. Garzon, champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well then, your deal. <laughs> oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just going to have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen, hey. Namakshon! How can I refuse? So impatient. What convenient timing for a friend to join, Mr. Ricketts. I'll be watching you. I'll take a whiskey, if you're buying, Muller. Call. I'll call. Muller, we might have to send you off prospecting for more silver. Always silver. enjoy playing poker. Just love it. That's better. 
Now I'll fold. I fold. You too must think I'm a fool. What? He's oh, mad because yeah. he folded. It's all coming back to me now. That guy's just staring right into our soul. Mr. Marston, I hope you realize you're in the presence of one of the keenest German minds in all of Mexico. That's me out. Not for me. Interesting. Look at that. A little beginner's luck. You fucking cheat! Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking cards, you fucking cheat! Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy, Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now, calm down and let's finish the game. There's no, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. You know how to duel, Ricketts. Dude, all this a over a game of cards. Timing. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. Let's get this over with! I got it. Remember what I told you. You should have stayed home, Yankee! Man, I hate this guy. <laughs> He's got an annoying face. Let's see if he actually beats that. No, he's screwed. <laughs> Old Muller always did play his cards too early. Awesome. Come on. We've earned ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Your health. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, the man they call Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. <laughs> nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> It's so weird that they give you so many dual tutorials, just like halfway through the game. You've already, I've already dueled a few people already in this game. This one's actually tricky. Christ alive! We really aren't making any today. What the hell? I hit his gun, but he just had a heart attack, I guess. There goes her hat. This is what happens when you work for a German. These assholes don't stand a chance. Kill the son of a bitch. I'm waiting for him. Well, partner, I think we can safely say this poker game is over. Well, I must say, you tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. Right, there we go, we know how to duel now. <laughs> 
but it's worth it because we get to kill this, this dick. <laughs> this guy's such an asshole. Well, we might as well just do the next uh, landed mission right away. We're right here. Just hanging out in the saloon still. <laughs> hey, Gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? <laughs> Something like that. Well, well, you've killed people. You lived the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair-like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> <clears throat> Already had me a woman. Got me a farm. Then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me, I spent 25 years killing men. <laughs> Look at me now, sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts, Mr. Ricketts, thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir, but Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you. Both of you. Hola. Hola. All right, we're teaming all right. up again. Here we go again. Dude, Ricketts is such a good character. I like the dialogue between him and John. Cause they're like so similar. You gotta ride all the way out to Escalera. No rush. I'm sure they'll hold the executions till we get there. Jeez, man, I just got on the horse. It's already rushing us. Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. Well, I mean, what he's saying doesn't really make it's much sense because we actually haven't going. worked for anyone you know, else besides Ricketts yet. A lot of myself, how I used to be, stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd lived in charm. Do you see that? Prison wagons. That must be them. This is our chance. 
See if you can take control of that first wagon. Yeah. Great. Nice. Oh, that was Holy shit. Well, I might have probably die. I don't have any medicine. That second wagon just lit me up. Alright, let's see if we can stay further back here. Um, were you letting the other one go? I don't think so. <laughs> Let's catch up to this other one here. God damn. Two revolver shots almost kill me. Go. Go on. Going. Yeah, I took so much damage that first attempt. Are you even that close? Yeah, I suppose I should have went to Escalera and at least did the starting mission, so that landed Ricketts dialogue would have made more sense. Unless he's talking about Irish, but I doubt it. Got an actual, uh, blockade? Hell, that just pushed him to safety? I hear a gat when he... Trying to hit the... Alright, I'm gonna just shoot the guy instead. He's trying to hit the TNT. I will handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so. I think we finished all of Ricketts' missions. Oh, we reached Gunslinger fame, though. But our only choice now is to head to Escalera. So I'll just cut to when I get there. Alright, we're getting pretty close to our next mission here. I don't know why he's running like this. What do you want, Gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. 
Been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax, I mean, relax. <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's call me drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroyed a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man, perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> it breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist. But you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government. Or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there. Hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. You can take your horse or ride on the wagon. Let's get on the wagon, but dude, he clearly has something going on with that waiter. Yeah, I remember DeSantis. Kind of an asshole. Or DeSanta. But then again, a lot of Mexico's characters besides Ricketts are kind of scummy. It's such a warm welcome from the Mexican army. I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught, but do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering uh, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies, you heard. Baby. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this, and I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. 
I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, Senor Master. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better? To pull your arm around a hungry man or to be until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. Yes. Who are these Alos you hunt? This Billy, the cowboy, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williams is a fella I used to know, and Javier Escuela? Well, I knew him too. What do you mean? You know this man? We was friends once. Part of the past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. It cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals, mostly in the service of the rebel peace. Mexico is an easy place for a man to lose himself, whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. There must be a high price on their heads. The highest price? Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's... it's a long story. I'm being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico, senor. We do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Coronel Allende for long. Yeah, I'm sure everybody here can be trusted. It's rebellion. It is a disease. It is killing this country. Don't people have the right to stand up for themselves? The right? The right? Don't you throw silly ideas at me. What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Very little. I'm just saying, there must be something behind this rebellion. I'll tell you what's behind the senor master. Lies. Insidious lies. The peasants are stupid. And like cows, they can be herded. It only takes a few men to move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. You're talking about things you don't understand. If you ask me something, I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once, I suppose. In a twisted kind of way. I thought I could change something if I fought hard enough. Change what? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Revolution is always selfish. It is nothing but greed and ego. Individuals putting their own needs above those of others. It is people fighting for change when they have no idea what change is. If you're a poor man who's been beat down all his life, any change is gonna seem good. What? You think that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? If you're not helping them, it's only natural they're gonna look for someone else who will. For a tired old revolutionary, you are very naive. What do you want us to do? Walk around giving out money to every poor person in Mexico? <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to go out and do some work rather than sitting on their culos talking about freedom. I guess he's got a point, but he's kind of an asshole. Leader of the rebels. But I'm Reyes. He's a traitor, a liar, a coward, and a sinner. A hero who has done nothing. I have far more respect for the shit I look this morning than I ever will for that pathetic worm. That's a nice image. He is from a rich family, a man born in a golden cradle, who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that bastard does is stand in a balcon, giving speeches. It is easy to make promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises to build an army. Reyes wants power, nothing else. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. He's prepared to destroy everything my compatriots have fought and died for, just to hear people shout his name. I'm sure he would say the exact same Were thing about DeSanta. <laughs> no, sir. I was never in the army. I thought as much. You have the air of a man who knows little of loyalty and this And you have the air of a man who's too hasty to jump to conclusions. Do you have a problem with authority, Senor Marston? I mean, that's an immediate yes. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving Chuparosa soon. We're going to escort. They will think it's a supply train. There are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. Give them some bait they can reduce. Dude, there's always a pack of wolves. Come on! The train is waiting. 
Where the hell did it? Get on your horse! Delete my you have to get to the train. I'm trying, it's not showing up. Now it's running away from me. Come on, come on. Come on, Here we go. Come on. What are you waiting for? On your horse! Vamanos! Where are we going? Right ahead of the train! Keep watch for the rebel! Come on! What's that guy up to? Yep, I'm sure he is. He sounds like a great dude. Probably treats the people of Mexico fairly and justly. <laughs> hey, when the horse does that, it like auto guides itself into the wall. Probably gonna want this. Oh, we've got something up ahead. Don't make me kill you now. All right, they're down. know if they damaged the engine yet. Yeah. yeah, dude, Mexico's missions get pretty crazy. Because you basically do kind of fight in the war. <laughs> well, like, this war they're having with the rebels. Are we going all the way to Casa Madrugada with this thing? I think we actually might be. I think this is actually a pretty long mission. There's a lot of dialogue. Oh, there we go. They finally damaged the engine. That's not good for that guy. <laughs> He actually lived? How the hell is that guy still alive? You wanna get shot. I think he actually get killed shot. one of the army men. Yeah, he's just sitting there sprinting around the hill and killing everybody. Dart straight head first into the train. There we go. Finally caught up. Sending a lot of them after us. It might be good now, though. God, man, this game still looks so great. This for the time it came out. Alright, 
trains back here and got here safely in one piece. Los rebeldes están robando el tren. Levántese, perezoso, que yo que le estoy pagando. Marston, you're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start the train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. Todavía levántese. Ay, usted joder. también. Y allá atrás, muévase. ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Uno. Ay, Dios mío, levántese. Ya mismo. Man, how the hell did this become our job? They're not even getting up. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of them. I almost died. It sounds like something's constantly getting ran over. that mission just uh, introduction to the Mexican government <laughs> it's got us doing some crazy stuff but we saved the train I actually might end this part here that was actually a pretty long mission we we also finished all of Landon Ricketts missions off so it seems like a good spot should clock in at around an hour at least but yeah man glad to be back on here like I said I'm still gonna be playing Mortal Kombat 1 in fact I actually might stream the later the day that this goes live and start doing some of the classic towers so yeah excited to play both of these at the same time although i usually don't like multitasking my games too much i was kind of hoping to have a lot of the wild well pretty much running through the entire wild west marathon that we've been doing i was hoping to have that done before any new games released but we did not make it oh there's a bobcat right there but yeah Still going to be trying to multitask it as best as I can, because I actually still really want to play this game, because uh, this is my first time playing it in 60 frames per second, and I'm, oh, as always, thoroughly enjoying it. But yeah, uh, we can probably continue doing the government missions for a bit before we talk to Lucia, or whatever her name was, I keep forgetting. But yeah, thanks for watching, I'll uh, see you in part 8.